The stock market is offering some good bottom fishing opportunities these days, but consider your approach and your strategy before you jump in. After all, cheap stocks have a nasty habit of becoming cheaper. So here is some advice to keep in mind, and then we'll put this advice into practice with General Electric. Let's take a look. First, let's go through some advice. Number one, don't try to buy at the absolute low. It's understandable that highly competitive traders always try to buy a stock at the exact low, but quite often that's not the best time to buy from a strategic standpoint. It's more important to buy when there's the best chance of sustained movement upward. That might be due to a news event or a technical development like a higher high. Sometimes a new all-time low can trigger a quick bounce as traders conclude the selling is overdone. But catching a bounce for a flip is a different matter than bottom fishing for bigger returns. Number two, the cockroach theory applies to stocks. There's an old saying that if you see one cockroach, there are usually a dozen more hiding someplace. That's true with stocks too. If you see one problem, there are usually a dozen more elsewhere. Bad stocks often trade at their lows for a good reason. Just because a stock is at its low doesn't mean it can't go lower, especially when other issues that are under the surface start to bubble up. Number three, patience is a virtue. The biggest challenge for bottom fishers is that this approach tends to require much more patience than momentum buying or position trading. Stocks at their lows have most likely been drifting for a while and are weak due to investors' disinterest. There's no way to know when that interest will return, but it can take a very long time. Some stocks have time frames of months or years, not days. If you aren't mentally prepared to stay with these trades for a long time, you shouldn't make them to begin with. And lastly, number four, stay disciplined. Bottom fishers need to make an extra effort to stay disciplined. When you hold a stock for months and it does nothing but drift around, it's very easy to grow bored with it and cut it just to be doing something. On the other hand, it's also quite easy to sit on something that's dripping lower on little volume. Those losses can add up fast if you don't have a firm stop in place. So now let's apply this advice to General Electric. Before we get to the stock charts, some recent information on General Electric that may have a twist to the story. And General Electric shares have been in free fall, but option traders are betting on a resurgence ahead. The stock plunged to near decade lows this year, down 47% over the last 12 months. However, since hitting a low in April, the shares have seen some relief, rallying 12%. And recently, option traders are betting the stock could be gearing up for a bigger rally. On Thursday, shares of General Electric jumped nearly 3%, setting off a surge in bullish trading activity with call options, doubling that of puts. Notably, there were a block of trades purchasing the January 2019 $20 calls for an average price of $0.15 cents per contract, and these are bets that GE is going to be above $20 by the January expiration. So, that trade implies a more than 30% rally for shares of GE from the current levels. So now, let's go take a look at the charts. We're looking at the 20-year monthly chart on General Electric, and the symbol is GE. And for disclosure purposes, I do not own General Electric at this time. Now, considering the four pieces of advice that we talked about previously, first one is don't buy at the absolute low. Well, we're not at the absolute low, at least so far here. We don't know if we're going to have another deeper move lower subsequently to this uh, low here, but uh, we'll take a look at some of the oscillators and that'll give you an idea of what's going to happen here.
Uh, number two, the cockroach theory, which applies to a lot of the stocks. So we've had a lot of bad news out there with regard to General Electric. Now, there may be one last piece of bad news for General Electric, and that is the question of whether or not the dividend is going to be cut uh, once more again. Now, that I don't know, and I can't answer that, so that's going to be up to you with regard to your fundamental analysis on General Electric. And then, of course, the last two pieces of advice is also up to you. First, or, or rather, number three is the patience is a virtue. You have to have some patience with these kinds of stocks and in bottom fishing. And then number four, you need to stay disciplined. So number three and number four, those are completely up to you. But let's go ahead and take a look at the chart here and see what it looks like. So as uh, the price shows that we may have a bottom put in just the last uh, couple of months or so. Looking here at the MACD, definitely the fast line is starting to curve over. It hasn't uh, necessarily bottomed yet, so we're uh, perhaps a little ways away from stepping into General Electric as an investment, but not too far. And it had uh, a rounding uh, bottom at that time there, and this was a little bit uh, quicker here. So use those as reference. Moving here into the histogram, we can see that it hit the low, and for the last, say, couple of months, we've been in an uptrend. And looking back, same sort of things happened here and here. The 2009 Great Financial Crisis bottom was a very, very sharp downtrend and then recovery. I would not expect to look at that for reference. Go back here to the year 2001-2002. That's what I see as perhaps a little bit more similar to what would happen today. And as we can see, we did improve, but then there were periods where it started dropping back down again. So we'll see that in other oscillators coming up. Looking at the price rate of change, this one is actually relatively important in my mind. Even back in the Great Financial Financial crisis, it hit a bottom, fast line moved through the slow line, and then came back through to this point in there, and that was the point to buy. Same sort of thing here. Bottomed at this point, came up through the slow line, back down, and then it reflected off of the slow line and then on its way. So we've had the bottom here in 2018. We have not crossed through the slow line, so I would want to see that cross through and perhaps even another move down or a small downtrend before I popped into General Electric as an investment. Going back here to the RSI, we'll see the same sort of thing here. This had a bottom here and then another downtrend and even a third one at that point here. And the third one was the point uh, which uh, I think, in my opinion, was the least risky entry point. Now, in the great financial crisis, we had this very sharp bottom, but I think that this point here was a time to get in. So here. Contemporary 2018, we have a bottom, so let's wait for that little downtrend to see if it comes. That, again, would be a very good signal in my mind. Going here into the stochastics, the fast line has moved through the slow line, and as in times past, it uh, bottomed and moved through, and then here, that was the time to get in. And then back here in uh, the 2003 time frame, that was a time to get in. So not necessarily here or here. All right, we're here. We've crossed through. So let's just wait and see just a little bit longer, see if there's another downtrend and see if there's a better entry point. Volume has increased, but this is a lot of uh, negative or downtrend red that has occurred with the last few months of green. So lastly, moving into the Williams, we spent a long time down here, almost a year, and then we're starting to move off of that. That's very good. We moved off of the base here in 2009, and again, that uh, little downtrend was probably time to get in. And then here in 2002 to 2003, this last period, that was the time to get in. So I would say that we've probably moved off. If we do have a downtrend, it may not come all the way down to the bottom, but uh, I think we're not far 
from a good entry point on General Electric back up here to the price chart. And you can see that we've bounced off. And I would imagine that again, we may revisit near the lows. That happens often, so don't be in a hurry. And then again, as uh, some of these points of advice are up to you, so is your fundamental analysis on this. You have to do a little bit of further fundamental analysis, check out uh, the earnings and expectations for a potential dividend cut. But otherwise, we're very close on General Electric. So for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.